I'm Sequoia. I'm Jen. And this is Cook, Cook Inside, Inside the, the Box. No Rocky Mountain oysters, no Deer Duck, and no Lox. Why be creative when you cook inside the box? Hey. Welcome to Cook Inside the Box, the show where we just cook recipes from the sides of boxes. No creativity. We do not like creativity. No interpretation. We do not like interpretation. Everything according to the side of the box. We like following rules. Today's episode, Nilla Wafers. But before we get to the recipe, maybe we should find out a little bit about the history of the Nilla Wafer. Did you know that Nilla wafers are named after Manila, the Philippines, the fourth largest city in the world? Did you know that a Nilla wafer is paired best with a Pinot Noir? Did you know that Nilla wafers were the preferred snack of Woodrow Wilson? Did you know the first formula for Nilla wafers was made out of volcanic ash? Did you know Nilla wafers, if exposed to air for more than 30 minutes, turn into gold? Did you know if you eat enough Nilla wafers, it'll change the consistency of your blood? Did you know that Nilla wafers are a natural deterrent for house rats and house mice? Did you know that in 1712, frisbees were outlawed and they replaced the frisbee with a Nilla wafer? Did you know Nilla wafers were used to patch holes in the Berlin Wall? The original formation of a Nilla wafer was a square, but it turns out the sun gods did not like that. Today's episode is Nilla wafers, and we will be cooking the Nilla yogurt freeze. Mmm. What are our ingredients for today, Jen? Well, today, Sequoia, we will need two reduced fat Nilla wafers, two tablespoons of thawed Cool Whip Light whipped topping, two tablespoons of strawberry low-fat yogurt. And what are we going to do with those ingredients, Jan? We're going to place one of the wafers on the bottom of one paper-lined medium muffin cup. After that, we're going to go ahead and top it with combined whipped topping and yogurt. That's Charlotte's good, Sequoia. Mmm, -hmm. just like Grandma used to make. We're going to top this one Nilla wafer with this topping. How many servings does this make, Sequoia? One. Better not have any friends. Cover with the remaining wafer. Any more instructions? Can I just eat it now? Well, Sequoia, you're actually going to want to freeze for one hour or until firm. An hour has passed and I'd say that it's firm. Vanillicious. And now it's time for judging. Hey guys, it's good to see you all here. Lovers of food, just like me! <laughs> Hello, I'm Kevin Cornell. I just woke up from a hangover. So we're very excited to have the judges try our Nilla Wafer Freeze. As you can see, the box only called for one serving, and we broke the rules and invited some friends, so... I guess we're going to have to make three servings out of this one. I'll tell you what, I'm really excited because I got a lot of the cookie, and I like dry things. I can tell uh, that this uh, comes from a lot of our uh, local farms. Oh man, it looks like uh, lip balm. This reminds me of um, a nice cheese, which I don't necessarily like to eat, but it's paired with a nice biscuit, which I said I was really looking forward to. My only question is, uh, is there more? <laughs> this reminds me of when uh, I went with uh, Brad and we were gonna like catch some surf. This reminds me of the water that day, cause it's cold. It's hard to quantify things with uh, numbers, like our budget. Very good, very good. Basically more of a, like a, like a five? It's like banging rated. Yeah. Wow, we sure learned a lot today from our judges, and we learned a lot about Nilla wafers. I sure did. I'm Sequoia. And I'm Jen. From our box, to yours. We'll see you next time on Cook Inside the Box. See you next time on Cooking in the Box.
box. That is not what the show is called. What is it called? <laughs> Cook in the box. Cook in the box. <laughs> Damn it, every time. Cook inside the box. Cooking inside the box. It's just no, a cook inside the box. It's what we can find. Cook in the box. So it's cook inside the box. box.